Hi, this video shows you the various adjustments of the Heusigveld Engineering Sim Pedals Professional Edition. And they are quite high end, really strong, stiff braking forces up to 55 kilos, clutch force up to 17 kilos. It really improves the, the realism and the immersion of your experience in the simulator. Some adjustments apply to all pedals, the height of each pedal and the tilt angle of each pedal. And I will show it now with the throttle. And there you need the wrench and the 3mm uh, Allen key. And then you undo the sunken bolt that holds the pedal pad in place. Make sure not to lose the washer and the nut. Leave them somewhere, take the bolt out. And then you can take the pedal pad off. And there are three positions. Lowest as you see here. Medium. And the tallest feet. Find the hole you like and then insert the bolt again in the sunken hole, then the washer, then the nut. Tighten it up a little bit, no need to do this up like your life depends on it, just make sure it's just starts to be a bit tight and then you're done. Now with the bigger of the Allen keys undo the four uh, bolts that hold on the brackets and then you can rotate the entire pedal so this is more up straight if you have more formula one cockpit and then you tighten the bolts again first a little bit just to make sure everything's still horizontal and cool and if it is then you tighten them up more securely and there you have it you've adjusted the angle the throttle you can adjust the travel and the spring resistance first we'll do the travel for that you need the two largest Allen keys again and you see which ones you have to undo, just a turn or two and you can slide it forward and back. In the forward position as you can see here I tighten it up, gives you the least travel, as you can see it's pretty short and if you slide the thing back as I do now, you get the most travel as you can see here. Spring resistance the two one but largest allen keys undo those two a turn and then you can slide that up and down in the lowest position you got the least resistance and then if you use the highest position it's pretty firm and the finger doesn't really work anymore so you'll see me using my hands it's important that the push rod as you can call it goes straight through and sometimes you have to wiggle the end a bit so it's it's nice and smooth adjusting the brake it's a bit of a stack of, of washers and springs and rubbers and you can do it any way you want the only thing is with the spring you cannot use less than the supplied amount of uh, black spacers with your fingers you can sort of compress the spring a bit and then you can just pull it uh, upwards as I do here and then take a rubber out and replace it if you want with uh, washers that gives you a firmer pedal put the stuff back in and it will click into position again so compress with uh, your fingers the spring and then pull it out like that take the parts off replace it always a washer between the rubbers and then you click it into place again then align the little spring as well the clutch you can adjust the travel the resistance and, and the fuel curve and we'll do that all in the coming videos Travel is just like uh, the throttle, but I'll show you the amount. So in the most forward position you got the least travel, and in the rear position you got the most travel. So first the least travel, you can see how it looks here. It's a bit harder to push this with my hand, it's pretty firm. So there was a short travels option and now I'm sliding it back for a, a much more long pedal, as you can see here. Then the overall stiffness of the clutch with the one but largest Allen keys moves up just a little bit and now in the lowest position you get a bit less resistance and a bit more round curve than in the highest position as you can see. Finally and the darkness has come a bit we change the overall uh, feel curve how, how, the, how it feels and for that we have to take the spring out so you undo completely take the out these two bolts spring comes loose and I undo these ones just a turn as well so it's, it's free to go out like that you pull it upwards 
place it somewhere where you keep all the parts and then with the smallest allen key and the wrench undo those two sort of lever levers on the end one at a time this one takes a little bit more uh, time to do don't lose the nut and the washer as always and then the lever comes off on one side the little thing that holds the spring comes off and then you do the other side the wrench has two positions for the pad and this is the smaller one that fits here nicely again with the washer and the bolt so now we've taken all those parts off and then the top hole gives you sort of the most round curve so it gets really light at the end and the lowest hole you use there is a very firm uh, feel so you pick the hole that you would like to try now first the lever again and then the washer and then the nut and when you tighten it up it should just a about be uh, rotating freely so you don't want to tighten this up this, this mechanism has to turn so when it's a bit too tight you undo it just a little bit it shouldn't be super sloppy it should just about be able to turn freely and when you've done that then you do the other side again not tight just able to move freely that gravity just makes it fall down usually undo it just a notch when it's a bit tight and then with uh, the spring center on the front like you can see there just use a bit of force and you click click it in and then the push rod can go back in don't forget to have all the washers at the end all the plastic washers it should slide back in and with with a little bit of pressure pushing it in you can then uh, attach the two bolts again and then you do them up and don't forget to also tighten those upper holes which we had to undo to get the thing out smoothly so that's that if you want to clean it as you will uh, use a soft cloth with a drop of oil even olive oil is fine and then you rub it perhaps wax on wax off as may work and those fingerprints will come right off i hope this was informative you can uh, catch us uh, on various social media as well as our website h-engineering.net Thank you very much for watching and bye bye.